Hey everyone, Sam McGuire here from Enterprise DNA. I want to go over a unique insight today, but I think what it will enable us to do, uh, or, or, or for me to show you, is uh, some really cool ways that you can integrate some, some key functions within Power BI. The main ones I'm going to talk about are top end, which is a very powerful ranking table function, uh, and also maxx. So maxx is an iterating function, uh, very similar to sumx, but it has a, a dual, a different purpose, obviously. Um, but there's a really unique way you can use it that can find insights like this. So we're trying to find, for every single customer, I asked my data, a question of my data, I wanted to work out, well, what was the first product that each of my customers bought? And, you know, from here, uh, that we likely won't have time for, you can then move into other grad analysis, right? So, you know, what comes to mind is, well, we want, we might want to analyze, well, how many, uh, how, what, what is, what, which product is, is purchased the most first from a customer perspective? Yeah, and then we could target our marketing, we could target our advertising, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there's lots of great stuff that could, that could be derived from here. But in this particular, tutorial I do just want to showcase well how can we work out this first product who and, and actually uh, incorporate it inside a table so that in a dynamic way we can see over any time period well what was the first product bought within this particular time period for all of our customers so let's just jump to the formula and I'll walk, walk through it but you'll see here that we have a this is a data set with lots of different customers right and so every single customer uh, has obviously they buy something and so I've just got a, some you know generic product names here and we're identifying you know every single first product basically of whatever date selection we we make and I've got this little table here basically just to check to check that we have got it right um, because you always well, obviously want to be doing that you will need to be auditing your numbers and this is a, just a good way to showcase well how do we actually do it so let's have a look at the formula first, okay? And so this is where it gets quite, it's quite interesting. Right? This, this is a combination of quite a few different um, different functions, right? Uh, that are, I think um, are, are quite interesting to use. And so the first thing we need to look at is this sum x, right? Oh, the, sorry, not this uh, sum x, the top end. Now, if we're trying to find the first of something or the last of something or the top of something, uh, the top ranked or the bottom ranked, top n is the perfect perfect function that allows us to do this right it doesn't return a value it returns a table though okay so that's the key difference to say rank x which actually returns a value or a ranking of something now in this particular case what i've done is and within top n <coughs> we, <coughs> we need to first of all put a number that suggests what uh what table or, or yeah what, what size of the table we want to retain at the end of the evaluation now if you put one what happens is this actually only returns a, a table with one row which is great right because that's exactly what we want here we just want to see what the first product is that we purchased so we only need to return one row then what I've done is I've put in summarize here. Whether, whether you need to use summarize in here is, is debatable. I just I just have in this case um, because I was trying out some other um, formulas. But essentially all this is doing is it's returning um, a table. This is returning a virtual table with the date and, and every single product. Now here is the trick. Here's the trick that is really, really crucial. We need to evaluate the min date, the first date, right? We need to we need to go and find the very first date but we need to wrap it inside a calculate statement if we don't we actually get the incorrect result now what calculate enables us to do is apply a filter context to this particular result and then that then will evaluate within its filter context the very first date for every single product for every single customer so the context of this calculation starts with the customer then we look at every single product a customer has bought then we go and evaluate what the minute date is the very first date that we bought a product and then through max x we can then return the actual product value the actual name of the particular product so all combined is pretty powerful stuff right 
Now, to double check it, now how would you know if you didn't check it that this was actually producing the correct result? Well, it's very difficult, right? I mean, I don't even think you can. Uh, you need to somehow audit this number. So let's just select a particular customer, right? I'm going to select a customer there. And you'll see here that I have, the, I have this table which has got every date, every product, and every sale that this particular customer has made. And you'll see here that the very first product that we bought was on the 20th of the 8th, 2015, and it was product 94, which is correct. And then we can just quickly click down. So this is product eight, and we've got product eight here. We could also change the time frame, right? And that's also gonna change the results dynamically as well. So this is pretty powerful stuff. I love it. I really, really love how quick and easy it is to uh, the insight that you can derive um, from, from, from this formula and the, the fact that it's dynamic is just outrageous and you know, how quickly you can you know, jump to anything, any time frame you could put other filters on place here you, you know, there's so many different ways that you could change this result or change the initial context of this particular result and then achieve um, updated results based on, on the context that you select so for instance, if you did want you know, the very first you know, from the beginning of time, basically all you need to do is uh, update your date time frame, extend it to the entirety of your data set, and then there you have it. Then you have it. So then you, you can select a, a customer again, double check, and uh, then it, it seems to me that we have the right answer. Okay, this is what I wanted to show. I just want to show you this unique uh, concept and how you can you know, utilize in combination these particular formulas. Uh, to achieve this insights, really good one, really good one. Okay, so rounding off all the very best. Uh, if you like the content, throw the video a like. Really, really appreciate it, and and I'm hoping that you can you can use some of these functions, start using them in your own models. Lots of great insights to be found. Okay, all the best. Talk to you soon.